we're gonna be using the new track map feature in After Effects. Let's go. When I see text revealed from a mat, I often see a hard line, and it's not wrong, but I at least wanna offer another option for you to be able to use a soft mat or a gradient in order to reveal your text. And in the new version of After Effects 2023, the track mat settings have changed. So I figured this was a great opportunity to double down on this tutorial, showcase some of that new functionality, while also talking about how you can create a soft mat. In After Effects, let me start by just showing you what I have seen done. So if I make a red solid, and let's just say we wanna make it like this, and I'm gonna use shape layer one, and let's invert it. And I'll talk through this in just a second, but I see this a lot. This straight edge line. So when this text moves, it's just a straight line. And it's not wrong, but I wanna offer another option. So let me go ahead and undo this real quick. And if I turn this, if I turn this back on, and I go up here and I go to Effect, Blur, and I put a fast box blur on it. Let's put this at 25. So we get a pretty decent gradient here. And let's rename this to Matte. And we can change the color to something else. All right, so if I turn this off, let's talk quickly about the track mats here. If you don't see track mat listed here, let's right click and go to columns, and this is mode. So if I uncheck that, it disappears. I just need to right click somewhere along this uh, row and turn modes back on. So in the new After Effects, this track mat is gonna be a pretty big game changer. And if you use mats a lot, you know that often you have to put a layer above, you know, you set, you have to duplicate, a whole bunch of different things. So now with this new After Effects, you only have to have the mat once and you can direct multiple layers to it. So let's talk through this real quick. So I want my mat to impact both, both numbers here. So if I use the drop down and I select the mat, I get two icons here over on the right hand side. So as you can see here, this says mat is inverted. So if I click this off, this is gonna be your alpha mat. And if you have questions about the difference between alpha and luma, I did a different video earlier on that you can check out and I'll leave the link in the description below. So this is simplifying what the drop down flyout menu is to. It used to look something like this, right? And so it's gonna to default to alpha mat. And if I click on it, it's gonna to go to luma mat. And the short version of, of the video is alpha mat deals with transparency and luma mat deals with uh, black and white pixels or the luminance of the pixels. So since my mat here, if I solo it and turn on my transparency grid, has transparency, I'm worried about alpha for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that it's on the black filled circle, which is the alpha mat. And for my 24, if I leave this on alpha mat, I'm losing most of the numbers. So I need to invert this because basically what I'm saying is I want, I want this to only appear where there are, are transparent pixels. So now it appears up there. So if we do the same thing with 56, I want this to be an alpha inverted mat. Great. So now I have this animation with a, with a soft mat, and you, you can obviously play around with this a ton if you want it just to appear um, from a, a soft edge. You could shrink the mat down, right? So when it starts, it starts with a gradient, 
and you'd obviously want to fix that overlap there. But if you wanted to start with a gradient and then appear in full, you can do that. Or you can also use this as an opportunity to do a gradient from your background color into your text color. Maybe that's the look that you have and you're going for. It. 